This is Melanie Cunningham, Director of Multicultural Recruitment for PLU, and this spring Cunningham is beginning a university-wide assessment about students of color at PLU. Well, I'm working on what's called the Multicultural Recruitment and Success Initiative. So right now my job is focused, I mean, normally it's been focused on just recruitment, but I'm looking at additional elements that include the persistence of students of color, the retention of students of color and the graduation of students of color. So if we put that all together, what have what has the success or not of the university efforts been in those areas? Cunningham says these efforts are hopeful, but there is room to grow. I think I found some research where we had over 130 black students in, 19, in the 70s, and so we haven't broken the 100 barrier yet, but we'll get there. In 2015, only 27.8 percent of PLU students identified as students of color. Cunningham hopes to address this and issues of greater diversity on campus. The mere fact that we're talking about it is is a huge step because there there still remains this level of discomfort when we talk about issues of race and ethnicity and even deeper into diversity when we talk about um, transgender and queer and, and when we bring up anything that's different there's just this level of discomfort that we really have to have to get over. Cunningham will begin interviews for the assessment next week but until then she has a message for all PLU students. I want PLU students to recognize that this this whole conversation about race is one that they must engage themselves in. It's not just for the students of color to engage in. It's everyone's conversation. And dialogue increases understanding. So if, if it's uncomfortable, or if you don't even feel like you have anything to do with this and you shouldn't, why are we even bothering about this? There's no racism. I'm going to challenge you to say, that's not true, and sit down, be quiet, and listen. This has been Jenny Boots for Mass TV.